Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of August the 20th through to the 26th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. By the way, happy birthday to any of you celebrating birthdays this week. First up, we have the Four of Swords in the upright position, followed then by the Seven of Pentacles upright, and next we have the Two of Wands upright with the um, High Priestess in the upright. And lastly, we have the Chariot in the upright. Oh, well, your cards are upright. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Leo, for your overall energy, you have that of the Four of Swords in the upright position. This is all about R&R, &R, rest and recuperation. Maybe a lot of you have been um, feeling under the weather this week um, maybe you just need some rest and to take it easy for others of you maybe you've just been um, overdoing things and you just need to take a mental health day or you need to take a, a spa day or something like that uh, this is all about just sort of going into rest mode because we've overdone things and usually there's more challenges ahead and we need to take that that time out, that period, to at least um, recharge our batteries and recuperate. Now, coming right off the hop, we have the Seven of Swords, or Seven of Wands in, uh, sorry, oh boy, it's been a long day. Sorry, Seven of Pentacles in the upright position. Seven of Pentacles is all about reevaluation. This is about being in the reevaluating stage where we're just, um, we've already reaped the benefits of a situation, could be for some of you a relationship, it's just a general read, so it'll be different for all of you. But this is something long-standing that we've put a lot of time and energy into. Could even be your finances, and looking at them from a more realistic standpoint, could be a job situation, where we're just reevaluating the situation and asking ourselves, is it worth it to keep putting more energy into the situation? It doesn't mean we're gonna stop or we're gonna change anything, it just means we're reevaluating. And reevaluating can be very healthy. And it's paired up with the Two of Wands in the upright position. Two of Wands is very forward-moving energy. This is when we're um, looking to make a change in our lives. So maybe some of you are reevaluating this change. And uh, this is where we ha kind of have one foot in the past and one foot in the future. Um, we're wrapping up something and we're starting something brand new. Uh, so we've got that energy going on and uh, a little bit of, of indecisiveness could be happening, although two is very balanced energy. Could be a little bit indecisive and just, you know, reevaluating. Am I making the right choice here? Am I making the right decision about what I'm doing? But chances are you're going to be moving forward because the two of wands usually takes that initial idea and is now putting it into implement like implementing it into their lives so this could be explaining why you're in uh, uh, rest mode maybe you're resting because you know that there's a change coming uh, quite shortly in front of you now at the end of the week we have the um, High Priestess in the upright position. It's Major Arcana, so this could be a little bit of an intense uh, weekend energy for you guys. But it's good, because the, the High Priestess in the upright position, this is all about tapping into our intuition, listening to our intuition. Maybe for some of you, this change that you're making or what you're reevaluating is going to require you to tap into your intuition. There could be, uh, High Priestess represents also hidden knowledge, but this is not deliberately being hidden from you. It just could be a situation where you just don't know all the facts and figures yet because things haven't played out. Maybe nobody knows the answer to the situation. So that's why we have to sort of go within and just trust our intuition and, and do so because it's gonna lead you right to the chariot energy in the upright position. This is all about forward movement. Again, there's lots of, of progress in this reading, uh, Leo. Good to see for you guys. This is all about uh, victory. The chariot is about moving towards a victory. It's also a card that can represent travel. Maybe some of you are traveling or moving. And this is all about forward movement, full steam ahead. It looks like things pick up quite a bit towards the weekend. So get your rest for sure. Leo, because um, you're going to be speeding full, full charge ahead by week's end. So 
really good, really progressive reading here for you guys. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.